Hello. Today, I'm looking at another daily devotion. I'm Faye Bryant, here to share with you. And uh, today, we're looking at Isaiah 54, 17. But in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. Let's talk. In that day, hmm, God spoke through the prophet Isaiah to Jerusalem, the nation of Judah. These two tribes, plus a few that made up the southern kingdom, the nation of Israel had split right after King Solomon's reign. You can go back in the Old Testament and read that. The word was that God would severely punish Israel and Judah for their adultery. their choosing to worship other gods. But he wanted them to have hope that it was not going to be forever. There would be many benefits to being found a follower of the one true and living God. And these words wrap up that part of the prophecy. Israel, used from here on to describe the whole of God's chosen people, suffered indignities, wars against them, exile and enslavement to other nations, near annihilation. Did I get broke? Ooh. Ooh. Are y'all still with me? This is not going to work. Well, let me continue. Let me just continue. My phone's going low. <laughs> All right. Um, they were enslaved to other nations, nearly annihilated over and over. And that was before modern times. Here God is saying that when that day comes, he will no longer send that horrific kind of judgment on his people. That in that day, when he restores Jerusalem to the glory he planned for her at the beginning, he won't be bringing nations against them in attack. He declares that despite the weapons a nation might bring against his people, they won't work. They won't provide any of the devastation intended by their use. Not even accusations, threats, or boasts will work. Those will be utterly destroyed by truth. Now, does this apply to us here today? I'm no theologian, so I'm not going to say definitively yes or no, but here's my musings on it. These words were spoken and written to God's holy people, chosen people, Israel. We who are believers, whether of Jewish or Gentile descent, have been grafted or adopted into that family of God's holy and chosen people. Read that in Romans 8, 15 and 23. Makes sense to me then that these words are true for believers today. We must understand that they are not meant for those who do not have a salvation relationship with God through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. It is only for those who believe Jesus and accept him who have the right to be his children. That's John 1, 12. Peace, righteousness, security, and triumph over opposition are our heritage as servants of the Most High. That is the people in whom the ideal servant of the Lord is reproduced. In other words, believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the vindication, the justification that the Lord provides us after the time when we've suffered at the hands of the enemy of our souls. The time is coming, my friend, when those who say they believe will be sifted from those who really do believe. Those who believe will enjoy these benefits while those who don't truly believe will not. This belief is not one and done. It's a faith that walks itself out every day, growing us into the likeness of the risen one. Coffee, Bible, journal. We have such a powerful God. He is amazing, and he offers us these amazing benefits because we are his children, his believers, his followers. 
when we have truly entered that relationship through Christ, we have this awesome tool, benefit, power, that the things sent against us are not going to destroy us. Now, hear me. There are things sent against us like cancer, uh, disabilities, car wrecks, surgeries, emotional issues. There are all kinds of things that come against us, but they don't destroy us. Remember, God talks about um, being careful to not choose something that can only kill the physical body, but not destroy the soul. We won't be destroyed. Our physical life may change, but we, the being that is us, the soul that God created is not going to be destroyed. Words against us will not decimate us. They're going to hurt. They're going to hurt, but they will not destroy. So believer, listen, trust in the God who is big enough to have created this entire world and big enough to save you from the sin that is part of your life. If you've not made that commitment to him today, I hope that today would be the day of salvation for you. If you need more information about that, just contact me. Listen, if you have something, a thought you'd like to share, drop that in the comments. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications. If you want to see some of the other videos I've done, again, if you're watching on YouTube, click over here. Until next time, I'm Faye Bryant. Bye.